Welcome into the locker room. What a weekend of football we've enjoyed. The domestic action is back with a bang and so too is our competition, the La Liga experience. For those of you entering, you also get the chance to win a jersey. Right on the table now, we've got Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Hitafe as well. These are the weekly prizes for Sergio. Getafe? Serious? Why have you got Getafe? Well, you've got Getafe. Getafe. <laughs> you've got these it's three the wonderful the shirts. It is they the nearly beat Real yeah, Madrid, that they team. They did, exactly. So they are yeah, onto something nearly. Getafe. But anyway, we'll be announcing the winners a little later on. Let's tell you, though, what's coming up here on today's <laughs> locker room. We have Atleti and why they cannot beat Barcelona in league play. We'll be asking if with Benzema back and the Cristiano Ronaldo connection, Real Madrid can turn things around. And Milan losing to their rivals Inter. Should Leonardo Bonucci be dropped there? All topics on the table today, but we will start just quickly before we get to them. Ray is wearing a special tie today. Why yes, is this? Yes, lovely uh, presentation here. And I promised this li lovely lady that sent it to me, Diane Trummer. Thank you, Diane. It's a Newcastle United crest because Newcastle United bubble are being sold. Are you buying them? <laughs> Finally. Mike Ashley is saying, enough, I want out. So everybody at Newcastle United, Tommy, they're partying like and they it's 1999. <laughs> hey, okay, well, we'll see well, what happens Prince there. reference there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, maybe Ray Hudson will buy them. Okay, Atleti <laughs> won, Barcelona won. It really was a game of two halves, but it was, once again, Simeone against Barcelona in the league, not managing to get a win. He's done so in the Champions League. He cannot do it so far in La Liga. So I'm asking, was it a point, drop, a point gained or two dropped? I think it's a point game for Barcelona. I mean, it's a, it's a very difficult match away from home. It was a tough first half. When 1-0 down, Atleti looked fantastic. And then yeah. certain changes were made second half, and, and I think those changes were crucial. Valverde made changes. He brought Paulinho on. He brought De La Feo on. They were more positive. They had more strength in midfield. And eventually, maybe could have sneaked it. So looking at, looking at Valverde, nine wins and a draw from his first 10 since the start of the season. I think they're looking fantastic. It's amazing, at the Gary, as well, um, in, in this game that Messi could have scored in the first 30 seconds yes, on a, yeah, a fabulous yeah. run. But it wasn't Barcelona's best performance, Thomas. Uh, they didn't start out too well at all. But full credit to Atletico Madrid, who I thought played their best football of the season. And that's why I say it's two points lost for yep. Atleti. This was the game yeah. where they really could have put the hammer down in that first half. Ter Stegen comes up with five incredible Great saves, stops. obviously. If they go to 2 0, it's a different game, and I agree with Gary. The changes, in particular Simeone, at the 60th minute, he takes Correa off, he brings Gatan in, a different player, yeah. midfielder, and you know what? Valverde immediately does the double yes, sub in the exactly. 61st minute and brings on two more attacking players going, all right, Semedo, you're off, I'm going for it, and that put that's them why, pressure. That's why you have 90 minutes. One hour is not enough. Exactly. And if you put the bus in front of the goal, yeah. half an hour to the end against Barcelona, yeah. You're going to end up getting a goal like they Very did. Good ball ball. But question, yeah. question for you, the goal that was scored, the Luis Suarez, didn't he do well to get up and get in front of one front and make it impossible I for think that defender to get the ball? It was, it was a good a header. Amazing eh? header, but I think the cross was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Bobo, spot on. But you know what? Carrasco, who played in that left zone right there, would have been right in the face of Sergio Roberto that crosses the ball there as well. So going back to yeah. the substitutions, parking the bus too early, allowing Barca to play really in your half, almost your 18-yard box. Yes. That's Dooms, yeah. you know, the goal that Suarez obviously scores. Yeah. And, so, and something else I wanted to talk about is Paulinho. Why is he not starting? Because when he comes on, he makes a big difference. And I'm looking at Rakitic and thinking, has it got to the stage where Valverde now has given it a bit of time, he's given Rakitic a chance, and he's got to say, I want Paulinho to start. He's big, he's strong, he's a good defender, he scores no, goals. He would be a starter for I me every agree. time. Why? You they've, wouldn't they've, play him in front of Rakitic? They've tight one game. Why would you make any change? Why was a coach who keep winning? I'm sorry, Paulinho. You're great coming off the bench right now. I think he did the right thing by starting Gomes in this particular game, playing out of a 4-5-1 giving Messi really some real rest there and say, you know what, in the first half, let's don't concede. And now in the second half, I come back with some substitutions. I, I would still stick with Paulinho because he actually played him in a number of, of these matches. So he's been part of the winning team. The I question, just think he offers more Ray, in that the midfield. Qu the question comes in um, is Andre Gomes again, who I didn't think played badly in the early going in this game. He started out well and was nicely involved. 
but then as the game went on, he really didn't have any yeah. impact, yeah. and he seems he gave, to still be a passenger. He gave a good ball to Suarez. As I said, bro, bro, he, he really, he, we've seen glimpses of a different Andre Gomes. Yeah, yeah. I think for me, he is the one that there'll be a question mark over in selection, yeah. Yeah. and maybe yeah. it's Paulinho's Paulinho. job. Yeah. But you know why I don't think is top. you asked us the question why in Champions League they win? Because mm -hmm. I think that. When they get Barcelona in the Champions League, it's a knockout stages. And Barcelona always have a hard time March, April. Yeah. Those two weeks mm. where they lose points point. in uh, the Liga and they lose the Champions League game. And they often have okay. a bad time coming back after a FIFA break as well, and which it showed yeah, up so again. Two great goals. Let's just say the, the, the Niguez goal, Saul's yeah. brilliant goal, a solo Amazing. effort in the the pass from Sergio Roberto was magnificent for Suarez, like Gary says, put it away. Yes, one, one fair finished. result, fair, fair result, result for yeah. me. And a good result for Okay, us. let's talk about the return of Benzema, Karim Benzema, back in the fold at Big Real Madrid. Benz. And he and Cristiano Ronaldo back on the score sheet in La Liga. Can they lead their side to help catch up with Barca right now? Because they've already made a little ground on them after those points dropped for Barca at the weekend. Guys, what do you reckon? There's another 30 games to play. 30 games, we have the whole winter. They have, we don't have it. They have, they have the whole winter. These guys, we shouldn't be shocked when they score. We, we, we have to be shocked when they don't score. Yeah, Because they're, they're sure. goal scorers. They're going to win games. If they're healthy, I don't think like everyone's saying Ronaldo doesn't score in the first six, seven games. Or the seven. People are crazy. But Benzema as well, coming back, he looked so well rested. He looked at his absolute best Because in this he game. rested. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they need rest too. And they've, they've yeah. got the squad that they can rotate and when they come back into the big games like Benzema for this weekend, it was a great dress rehearsal because, hey, full credit to that little team. Throw me that shirt over. That, well, somebody throw me that shirt. Because this little team... There you go, Greg. There's in, the goal. There's yeah. the goal. Yeah, look There's at this. This is a team filled with a lot of... Prayed for their little team, Hetafe. This is the shirt that you want. Not these three. No, no I want this one. What you, what you, What's wrong with you? I'll swap you. I'll swap you yeah. for the Barcelona <laughs> shirt. <laughs> so, uh, the Barcelona one. <laughs> Thank you. Tommy can have the Real Madrid, but I'm a Hetafe man. Yeah. So, I, obviously, they did get the win in this one, though. Cristiano Ronaldo with the winning goal. Just before that, he missed a oh. sitter, especially by his standards. And you can oh, see the frustration on his face. Yeah, what yeah, here, here, here's, here's the goal. It's a wonderful goal and a wonderful ball from Isco. The ball sits up. Have a look at it when it lands. Who was it the pass? Who passed it? Isco. Isco, baby. But he misses one, literally, as you say, 10 minutes before this. And it wasn't so much it was a bad miss. It was a shocking miss. Yeah, it was his face. He, he held on sure. to, the, to the net. You could see him thinking, why is my season not happening? Right. And literally ten, 10 minutes later, Loss. he makes... <laughs> Tie. Yeah. Let ten, me get the Madrid jersey. Yeah. <laughs> the winners. Nice one. Can they keep uh, winning though now, Thomas? Uh, you know what? Early on, you saw some flashes between Benzema and Ronaldo. That little back heel to open things up as well, which they so are used to. I think you, you need a focal point as your number nine, which they didn't have really. And Benz again is the player centrally. They're also, by the way, is a giver for Ronaldo. He's his wingman, so to speak, and Ronaldo becomes better as well. Ronaldo missed preseason, five-game ban, all sorts of things. He hasn't found his strap, but as Bobo said, he scored. He's going to continue to score again. Long season to go, but you know what? These two guys, again, sure, will, will make a huge difference. One, right? If the bearded, bandy-legged little beauty plays, again, they had to turn to his score in off the yeah. bench, Change the game. Brilliant. You cannot leave this player out. I've said it a time and time again. Real Madrid are a better team when he scores Maybe in. Maybe you but can when you've got Spurs coming off. Let them rest sometimes. Fair point. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay Liverpool nil, Manchester United nil. Was Mourinho smart to play for a draw in this one? Uh, it's one of those matches you, you just can't afford to lose. And the lot, you, you can lose to City, you can lose to Chelsea, you do not lose to Liverpool. It wasn't great to watch. It wasn't what I would like to see. And maybe if he had Ibra, he might have thought, I've got two big players I can have a go at Liverpool. I just, I just felt he, he thought there was a chance of losing and rather take the draw, which yeah, maybe at the end of the these, season, it's a good draw. These are the games that win championships in England, especially, be, because yeah. they can take care of the lesser lights like Newcastle United. All of them <laughs> can take. But when you come up against big clubs, Bobo, you can't drop points. And Mourinho okay, did I, that. I agree with you, but... You know, there's the five big, the big five biggest teams in the world. Right. 
Yeah. And they have to play they go good out yeah. football. They, go out yeah. and win they have to play good football. Yeah. And, and Man United is in one of these fights, and there. they have to give more. Can I just say, they, they, they do have Absolutely. a top, top five goalkeeper in the world. I'll give him that, David. He yeah, makes yeah, yeah. some crucial saves. Saves. Liverpool one. deserve to win the game. If it's Easy. not for the game, we could talk about a point great, but they've got played off the pitch, 70 30 possession, 18 and 5 shots. The Gaia wins the but game Thomas, for him, uh, Gary. Shouldn't Man United be going out and looking they to should. see if they can get. And not just because they're going to have to do it in Europe as well but it's not Mourinho he's very cagey he'll take the point and he'll be absolutely happy yep. with it okay let's talk about Valencia because right now they are way up there in the table in second place they are one of only three teams who haven't lost a game so far along with Atleti and Barcelona and we're asking are they gearing up to be the best of the rest in La Liga and when I say the best of the rest I mean the third best after Barcelona show, and Real Madrid. Show me a more improved team in, None. In, in, in any of the five teams at the leagues in Europe than Valencia. Marcelino's done brilliantly Bobo with this team and I want to give full credit to the Portuguese lad from its PSG property, Gonzalo Guedes. This kid, he's 20 year old, you watch his performance in all of the teams that v when Valencia has played well, it's this Portuguese peach of a footballer. But as, as good as they are, and, and they are looking fantastic, you can't tell me they're going to finish above Athletic. They can be the best of the rest mm. from fourth downwards, but to beat Athletic, I mean, is. But well, they've there, got the history on their side yeah, as well, but, Gary. But in Zaza Liga. better than Griezmann. Is Neto and goals better than Oblak? Have they got a back four as good as Godin and them? Not really. So they can be the best but, of those but below the front way, three. But, but are they going to go three, out and score goals? They're one of the three, top scorers in La Liga right now. Three weeks ago, they, they the tied Athletic. Okay, they went to Madrid and tight Madrid as well. They beat uh, Athletic Bilbao, Bilbao. Bilbao. Sorry, Sorry. Real Sociedad. Some good teams. Yeah. These are not, look, you know, so they prove to belong sure. right now. Sure. Is it so going to happen? Not Great it. football sure. though. Five nothing. Three two. Three two. Six four. Yeah. Let's not forget. They nearly got relegated last year. Yeah. Uh, amazing ahead. the transformation that this sure. coach uh, so Marcelino has taken. Valencia have to be always in the top five six. Yep. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what they should be. This competition that's going to be held, the La Liga experience. In the, Valencia. Game, the game Miss is Stein. Valencia against Ooh, Barcelona. Yes. So yes. Make sure you go and check so online lucky. how to do that. We'll tell you how to do so later. Okay, a fun one that you can play along with at home, especially after what we've seen over the weekend. Who is the best striker in the Serie A right now? These are the options we've put out for you. Dries Mertens, Mauro Icardi, Gonzalo Higuain, Ciro Immobile, or Andrea Bellotti when fit. Or the ghost of Bobo Vieri. Because <laughs> none of them can tie his boots. No, exactly. I'll shine them. I agree. Yep. I can't make my boots. <laughs> you, go, but, but, you know, people will be interested to see who you like best right now. Icardi, I think, is the. Sharp he's like it. a cobra in the in the 16 yard box or 18. Yep. What is it? 18 yard. 18 yard box. Yeah. I think he's uh, he's amazing now. Really? He's, yeah, uh, the he's a form. His goals, the type of quality he displays on his goals. Were you that type of player? No, clean, I, I was more. Box? I was more like Belotti. He's more. I think Belotti, out of all of them, with the win, is more complete. Mm. Like left, right, yeah. header, you know what I mean? He has Movement. Take, yeah, mm. you know what I mean? Uh, Icardi stays in the box. So if yeah. the ball comes in the box, he's going to score. If the ball, he doesn't get assists or the ball doesn't win the ball, sure. he has a hard time. It's like playing in 10. So off. when the ball, mm -hmm. yeah. they start crossing, he's going to score When you look goals. at the two goals he scores on the weekend, they are Amazing. out of this world Why the hell can't he do with Fabio he's got, Argentina? He's got two, the first one, he's got two people marking him. One of them, Benucci, who's meant to be that good. And he still finishes and scores so nine got, and eight. You've got so Vieri. I'm with Vieri on this one. You've got Icardi. You going for Icardi no, too? No, if I had to build a team, I'd take Iguain. Icardi, okay? Really? Scored a few, uh, few goals. Iguain? I'll give you some statistics here, okay? From 2013 till now, 155 goals, uh, uh, games for Icardi, 150 for Iguain, 90 goals, 98 for Iguain, okay? Iguain won a La Liga title when he was the same age, 20. So from 20 to 24, he won so much more. He scored 48 goals for Argentina. He's only 29. Icardi, you know what? In five years, talk to me again and see if you can get form. those numbers. Are you talking current form? On current form, would you still go for Higuain? <laughs> Absolutely. He's like Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. Would you go for Ronaldo right now, current yeah, form? Would, but not Higuain. But wait, what Ronaldo. about yeah, didn't we Ronaldo, miss, didn't current we, form? Didn't we miss uh, Immobile out of this? Yeah, I was just going to say him. I mean, I'm all for Immobile right He's now. He's playing really well. F playing phenomenal. But who would I take the yeah. whole year? Sure. I, I don't know. I'd take Icardi now. Okay. Yeah. Now, well, let us know what you think. Higuain Hashtag in the past, the I agree with you. Higuain in the past, but now. Parts. We'll always be divided. <laughs> okay, stay with us. When we return, we'll be talking about today's poll on B and Spots Twitter account. And this is which of the league leaders is playing the most attractive football. Stick around.
Welcome back to the locker room. A little what I love before we get into the debate. And this is something that happened at the weekend. Sometimes the producer's talking in your ear when you're trying to concentrate. Happened to Thomas Rangan at the weekend. Our team have put this together for us. But, but the best centre back in the world, under 23, is a hipster name that plays for Leipzig. An 18-year-old, by the way, that plays 60. Excuse me, Bruno, I'm talking. 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 Excuse me, Bruno, 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 excuse me, Bruno, I'm talking, okay? 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 Excuse me, talking in my ear anyway, 24-7. Maybe you uh, had devices in your head, look but that's... <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at me looking at Thomas. I've just got a mouth open, gaping at you there. Have you seen Thomas? Every time I mouth? see Thomas with those sunglasses on, uh, it reminds me of that uh, Bourdain guy. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. Anthony Bourdain. I'm in love with Anthony Bourdain. You're a I'll ring after him. Hearts and No, because then Hang we out, wouldn't eat. get you here with us. OK, so our poll question today was who plays the most attractive brand of football among the league leaders? We gave you four choices. It's Barcelona at the top of La Liga, PSG at the top of Ligue 1, Napoli in Serie A and Man City in the Premier League. Now, Barcelona won right now. Would you all agree with that? No, I would go PSG because with Neymar, Mbappe, Cavani, Draxler, Di Maria, they've got... They not only have probably the best strike force or, or almost the best strike force if you compare to the others, but they play against teams they're going to score more often against. So you're going to see great football from PSG all the time. So who are you enjoying watching First thing right I wanted now? to know, who, who, who chose here? Like it's a vote from the who, people. Who voted? Every, the 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 lads, lads, lads. Everybody, everybody. Okay, home. in the four the biggest, Why, biggest, biggest leagues, I think. For? I think, I think the, as a team, the 11, Napoli for hey! me. Hey! How can you not choose Napoli? Something, something's wrong here. That's right. Okay, I think there's a few agreeing agree? on Napoli. I'm, with them. All right. I'm going with City. And <laughs> City will prove in a few days the reason why. Why would they play Napoli against the second? They play against yeah. Napoli. Reserve <laughs> Napoli, Thomas. That's okay. okay. All right, let's talk about the Derby della Madonnina. <laughs> Thomas, can you say it yet? Um, uh, Bobo's tried me to. Uh, um, I, I, I wrote it down. Let me just hang write, on. Just say uh, it. Della, della Madonna Nina. Okay. Maradona. <laughs> he's Dutch. He's Dutch. Uh, <laughs> he's Dutch. You Maradona. gotta forgive him. Double Dutch bush. <laughs> della, Ma della, della Maradona. Della Maradona Nina. <laughs> What's wrong with that? A lot Mar of the Maradona talk in the press. Years back in Italy today oh, after Milan's 3-2 loss to Inter is whether Leonardo <laughs> Bonucci should be dropped. <laughs> it's a massive statement that's coming out in the Italian press. Is it too okay, harsh well, a statement? This is the Italian press. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. We'll have to cut that, Bruno, because I don't want that I to think, get back to Italy. I think they've played eight games, OK? It's a new team, new players. Oh, what a he's, I think what he's played out of eight games, what, five horrible and three good games. So you just want to take him out of the squad, I think he needs time. Like all the new players need time. There's not much time because losing a game like yesterday after mm. uh, scoring the second goal, equalizing eight minutes to the end, you got to keep the result. But there's not a lot of time, but they have to improve and we have to give them some time. But how has he gone from such a great defender though to yeah. uh, well, mediocre is, this, one this right This is what now. I want to ask Christian, is that he, you're saying one of the problems was three at the back. They should go to four at the back. So is it then Benucci's fault? Was it Montella's fault for not playing a much simpler system? I think to play three at the back, you need to train every day yeah. for months, so months, it's too, months, it's and months. Too early for it's him too to early. Play. I think they should play four in the back. Yep. They're, eh? They're more absolutely. secure. So blame the, the coach, yeah? Yes. Blame yes. the coach. There you go. Yeah. That's the answer, not the player. But, 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 but is he, is he accommodating for you? Well he, no, he's not playing well at all. And, and now we understand how good Cellini and, and, and those well, guys next to him were. They exactly. always bailed them out because Venusio was good for, for Juve as well. But that was like a, a well oiled machine. And I think the key is not only the three centre backs. Well, let's say Machicio and Ramagnoli are centre backs. They can't play in zones out wide. If you look at the Musacchio. first. Musacchio, yeah. yes. Uh, the first goal where Romagnoli needs to come all the way out, outside of his comfort zone, where he's not really comfortable. Great cross. Thanks for coming. Here's Icardi. But the most important three in a 3 5 2 are the two players out wide. And Borini right now is not in a 3 5 2, an up and down player. He's not a good defender. Rodriguez, by the way, that gives up that penalty stupidly, is a slow player. So they're getting hammered on the outside, stretch that back three out of the comfort zone, and all of a sudden it's trouble. Was it a fair result? Uh, I think the draw might have been a fair result, but, but um, just looking at it and going that Milan scored two well-worked goals and gave away three easy goals. So you're going you're gonna to lose games if you play like that. But I thought 2-2 two, two was you looking know what good I think towards the end. In the box, you've got to mark man on man. 
Yeah. And if you mark zone, the striker's always free. And then the two markers, he looks at me, I look at him, and he scores. Yeah. Talk about this this penalty at the end. This is Rodriguez hold. I mean, you're in the dying moments of a game. What's going on? Anyway? Born headed. Stupid it? just. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. And cool like a killer, this guy, uh, under the pressure to win the game. In the 89th minute, that's what it means. It was a, yeah. I thought it was a wonderful game, uh, very close, but certainly Inter, a better team. Bobo. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I maybe maybe Akadi can have a word with Dybala on those panels. <laughs> yeah. Might yeah. need to after yeah. what's what happened like, at the Bobo? weekend. 85,000. You've played in that game. It must be unbelievable. It's the best thing in the world. Best thing. But your legs shake, right? <laughs> no. Some days. No. You know when your legs shake? <laughs> your legs shake when you go with a nice girl. <laughs> 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 And we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be back <laughs> okay. If you'd like to go to a nice match with Ray Hudson, you can enter this competition. Hey. Uh, you can do so by visiting our website slash La Liga Experience. It's an all expenses paid trip to Valencia to see Valencia, this Valencia right now as well, against Barcelona. Be in sports.com slash La Liga Experience. Also a chance to win the shirts too. Stay with us, top goals, when we come back. The Locker Room is presented by Ford. Go further. Our top goals are brought to you by Ford, and we'll start with the team playing in pink and taking a few scalps right now. This is Stefan Sessegnon for Montpellier. Absolute beautiful strike. Yeah. One touch to control and good night, Vienna. Wow. Good night, Vienna, indeed. There and we go. and Take with a those colored jerseys, Ray, you better, you better <laughs> yeah. score some they've goals. They've beat Nice, they've held Monaco, they've held like PSG, them. they're doing pretty well. In at number four, it's Christian Stuani for Girona. It didn't give them a win on the day. He usually scores headers, but look at the fancy footwork from him here. Yeah, ball gets played back, and look at the back heel in, and look at the celebration, though, okay? Off he goes. Slows hey. Hey. <laughs> but it's a good finish, though. Clever little finish. Why didn't he do this at Middlesbrough more often? It's all right. He oh. did enough for us at Middlesbrough, I can tell you that. We love a bit of a Christian Serrani, the Uruguayan. Saul for Atleti against Barcelona is in at number three. Now, this is a beautiful goal. Uh, individually, it was created with lovely team football from one side of the pitch to the other and then Saul finishes off inside of his foot Magic. is at second post take a look at it again let's see the razzle and the dazzle look at this team football he said that yesterday the Magic. razzle and then the dazzle Yay. there we go wonderful stuff doesn't look up because big he knows goal. the goal post ain't moving baby in a big game <laughs> in at number two we're staying in La Liga it's a man that Ray's already mentioned today it's Gonzalo Guedes for Valencia and what a goal this was go ahead Rock take so, this one as well he's just such a wonderful player for me Thomas everything about him he's involved with everything that Valencia does well oh look at God. this I mean this is wow. just a glimpse of what this young man is capable of PSG property I hope Valencia wow. buy him. Bobo, you like that number seven? He's got number seven, Bobo. Fantastic goal. Dynamic magic. Uh, there's nothing compared to the number one, which Thomas is going to take us through. You which wait. one? Who's that? You wait, wait till this mustard. one's coming up. You can't catch this? Oh, you come can't on, catch come this? On, come on, come on. You're going to take us through. You can't through catch this? Benjamin Ginot. Oh, Benjamin Ginot, by the way. This is PSG defending, by the way, Gary. Your favorite no, but, team. But look Your at this. Whoop! Wow. Hey! Oh, yes. Number one of the week, the month, the it's year. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, unbelievable. The right weight of the ball. He knows the goalkeeper's online. Just Oy. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, keeper. <laughs> Man, where are you going? Brilliant. Perfect dip on that. Keeper just watches it. <laughs> Great goal. Uh, by the way, the duck edge. The Locker Room was presented by Ford. Go further. Tune in to The Extra tomorrow because we have an exclusive interview with Jose Mourinho coming up on the show. Here's a sneak mm. peek of that. Hey. The real Jose Mourinho is the one that is capable of an hug, that is also capable of a kick. Don't miss that wow. one. Also, our jersey winners, you are getting the chance to win these jerseys weekly. If you do enter the La Liga experience, the winner of the Barcelona jersey is Silvia Bustamante. Pablo Martinez wins the Real Madrid jersey, so congratulations to you. Then we've got William Ringhofer. He has won the Atletico Madrid jersey. And Rajes Inbasekaran has won the Hatafe jersey. So congratulations well to all guys. of you. Thank you well so done. much for watching the locker room today. Make sure you enjoy the Champions League this week, and we'll be back on Friday to look back on all of it. See you later. Bye. There we go. I want to date uh, Bella Dalla Bordorina. Eh? Bella Maradona.